Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to um, find out, uh, we're going to calculate um, reliability statistics. Um, so one of the most popular uh, methods to calculate reliability is uh, Cronbach's alpha. So um, let's try how to calculate Cronbach's alpha using SPSS. So I'm using version um, 25. So which is uh, the latest one in the market and so you might have uh, different versions of uh, SPSS with you uh, but they are uh, more or less similar um, first we need to identify the data set so here I've used the sample data set which is um, installed in uh, which is available in the installation directory of uh, SPSS so uh, the next step is to identify the set of variables for which uh, we want to measure uh, this uh, reliability. For example, uh, if you see in this data set, uh, there are variables um, named uh, wireless, uh, multi-line, voice, pager, internet, call ID, call weight, um, on TV, on VCR, on CD, and so on. So these variables, uh, they are asked uh, to, um, uh, with the respondents um, to to measure the means of communication in their household. So we want to measure uh, whether or not the data collected um, with the help of these variables um, is consistent or not. So for that we go to um, analyze and then we go to scale um, and then we click on uh, reliability analysis. So uh, let me reset um, the variables. So here we have got the variable names um, starting from um, wireless service up to this uh, newspaper subscription. So these are measured um, dichotomously. So yes or no. So usually we we calculate the reliability analysis for uh, Likert scale type of uh, questions. For example. Uh, while measuring the attitude, um, there might be different responses uh, like agree, uh, disagree, or highly disagree, um, highly agree, don't know, etc. But this reliability analysis can also be done for dichotomous um, uh, outcomes. So here, um, so we select model as uh, alpha and uh, we drag the number of variables, a total of 14 variables in this items uh, section and then you click on statistics and here um, there are several options so we are interested in um, calculating the descriptives for um, item and then uh, the scale uh, and then the scale if item is deleted and also uh, we can check uh, other options if we are interested in uh, those outcomes so let me check um, this uh, options and then click on continue and then click on OK. So what happens is um, uh, it shows you um, the reliability statistics for those 14 items. So here Cronvex alpha value is uh, 0 0.608 um, and also based on standardized items is 0 0.615 more or less similar. So we, we set up the cutoff of um, 0 0.7 um, in Cronvax alpha. So if the alpha value is uh, greater than or equals uh, 0 0.7, then we assume that uh, uh, the, the data is uh, reliable. So in, in addition to, the, to this Cronvax alpha, we are also interested in uh, this another interesting table in which it shows Cronvax alpha if item is deleted. So, uh, overall Cronvax Alpha as shown in uh, previous table was uh, 0.608 but here it shows that if you delete one of the variables from that model um, uh, then um, this, uh, if you delete this uh, particular variable, this uh, newspaper subscription from the model then um, the Cronvax Alpha value uh, increases to 0.665 uh, which is greater than uh, the initial value that is uh, 0.68 we're still uh, less than 0.7 right so uh, the chronovex alpha can be increased if we if we delete certain variable so now let us repeat that step again um, 
so let's click on um, this analyze and then click on um, this uh, reliability analysis and then let's delete that particular um, variable from the model let's remove that variable that is a newspaper subscription and then let's calculate it again so now if you see the new value then um, the alpha value increases to 0.665 so the initial alpha value was 0.608 so now it has increased because we removed one variable uh, based on the hint uh, because it said that if you remove this particular variable then the alpha value will be increased to 0.665 so now we remove that and now we have just 13 items and then the alpha value increases so so in this way you can you can measure reliability statistics using convex alpha in uh, using spss so that's it um, thank you very much and um, see you in the next tutorial bye bye